Yeah, I think it, it, was, it was important for us to, to win the Nationals. Uh, I think last year it did give us a confidence boost and hopefully it'll do the same again. You know, like Chris said, we've got the, the schedule we've got coming up is, is absolutely crazy. So it's just going to be week after week for the next couple of months. So, yeah, hopefully it'll be one of those things that it's a bit of a springboard onto some more success. At the United Soil England, I mean, it's always great to have the home crowd behind you. Um, extra few people cheering and stuff like that. You can, you can see kind of the tension in your opponent, as it were, when you've got a crowd behind you and, you know, cheering you on every point and just making it a bit more difficult for them. It is great. Uh, last, we didn't unfortunately play it last year just because of the way things worked out, but my last time I played it there, we had quite a close game with uh, one of the best players in the world. So hopefully this year will be another one of them for us. You know, we can have a good a good performance out there and kind of trouble some of the best in the world. At the moment, we're not, we're not too, too worried about the draw. We're just uh, concentrating on our own performance. And we know that actually when we, when we play our best, we can compete against the best in the world. And we have shown that in the last 12 months. So... You know, no matter who we get put up against, we'll, we'll go there with a fully prepared and willing to win. If we can play, you know, to our best there and say, I don't know, make a quarter or something like that, it's big points. And it could even then reduce kind of the pressure for the other tournaments because, you know, you have one kind of bigger result, then you can maybe even pull out of another tournament just to kind of balance things so that you can can well, kind of worry a bit more about training and getting yourself fit and ready mentally and physically so it, it's a big tournament for us because there's a chance for us to you know perform and get good points for Olympic qualifying it's hard not to kind of think about it and so on just because it's it's kind of the only thing I haven't managed to compete at in badminton so me and Marcus are both you know really keen and making well we're doing everything we can to, to get ourselves there and yeah we've got kind of roughly another three months to to kind of put everything in to make sure we, well, we can get there.